For something called an antlion, you might expect a more robust and powerful creature. This fragile and delicate adult doesn't look like it could hurt a gnat. It belongs to the insect order Neuroptera, which means nerve wings. And these dark spots on the wing veins, along with prominently clubbed antennae, help identify this insect from similar damselflies. Each are soft-bodied and can easily be crushed between your fingers. Damselflies are found near the water and are busy by day. Antlions fly feebly at night, and the adults may eat pollen or nectar, or in some cases, small insects. What gives this insect its name is the bizarre larval stage. Antlions exhibit complete metamorphosis, which means the larva is a different, unwinged form. It lives for up to two years in the sand, an ugly, powerful, and ferocious feeder that traps its prey in conical, dug pits. This life stage is usually called a doodle bug, since it tunnels and doodles in the sand while selecting a feeding site. It mainly feeds on ants, but will eat any small arthropod or spider. And it truly is a lion, feeding through hollow, needle-like jaws which suck the victim's body contents. Doodle bugs have incredible strength. They build their lairs by snapping their heads upward to throw sand particles up and out of the pit. Tiny grains of sand are no problem. But sometimes what amounts to relative boulder-sized rocks are tossed out in astonishing displays of power. This might be likened to a man throwing a lawn tractor over a two-story house with his head. If the pebbles prove too heavy for the doodle bug to toss, it simply backs up and presses the chunk out of the way with its abdomen. Doodle bugs build their conical pits by working into a tightening circular pattern under the sand surface. Time lapse shows how this is accomplished. Then the doodle bug lies in wait at the bottom, partially buried with only its open jaws ready to grab a victim. When a small insect comes along, it falls into the pit and struggles to climb the steep, fine sand walls. Then the doodle bug grabs its victim and drags it underground for a meal. Doodle bugs are common in Kansas, but only where fine sand is protected by trees, rocks, or structures. Their pits often dimple a dirt floor in open sheds. They can go for months without feeding, and this accounts for why it may take several years to reach adulthood. Doodle bugs, an odd and little known resident of the Sunflower State. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors. <laughs>